Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a lot of favorites for you guys. All these products I have been loving. I have a ton of stuff ranging from drugstore to high end. I've got brushes. It's all mostly makeup, so I'm super excited to share this stuff with you guys. I tried out a lot of products in March and a little bit in February too, so I'm super pumped to give you guys some updates on these. And I think one of the foundations I haven't mentioned. Maybe I mentioned it in my last video. But anywho, we have a lot of face stuff, lots of good things going on. So if you guys are interested in seeing all of my favorites, then let's just go ahead and hop on into the video. First things first is primer. So I have been loving this one size Secure the Blur primer. This is such a good primer if you have texture, pores. If you have oily skin, this works really, really well. Just apply it, let it kind of sit for a minute, you know, get your stuff situated and then put your products on. Everything really does look flawless over top and I don't get extra oily throughout the day, anything like that. I have been really loving one size and a lot of the products that they carry. So 1010 recommend. I have not tried the eye patches yet. I need to though. I have heard that they're amazing. So so that's on my list but this secure the blur primer is great if you're looking for more of a drugstore alternative though I do love this one this is the pore fix by revolution aka maker revolution like whatever that whole bubble is I think I'm pretty sure they're all the same thing this is a great primer again this one you definitely have to let it sit a little bit longer because it is a little bit more slippery at first but once you let it dry into the skin it will do pretty much the same thing as this it will just fill in those pores and give you a really smooth canvas so I love this one too if you want the more high-end one the Sephora sale is coming up then get this one this is also another great option from the drugstore another product you guys have seen me feature and talk about a lot if you follow me on Instagram or here on YouTube is the L'Oreal Paradise water infused tinted moisturizers I love coverage I don't really like to wear tinted moisturizers when they're just gonna like look like my skin but better I don't want it to look like my skin really so I want coverage I want something that's going to provide me like a smooth flawless canvas I don't mind a little bit of redness peeking out here and there you know if I'm gonna spend money on a foundation or a face product I'm going to buy something with coverage so normally a lot of the things that I recommend to you guys is things that are more medium to full a lot of the times full but this one has amazing coverage it looks beautiful on the skin it feels so good as well it's not like super heavy or anything like that I will say all these products I'm about to mention to you are not necessarily mask friendly I would take a concealer and touch up your nose if that's not necessarily a deal breaker for me because I know eventually you know I'm not gonna have to worry about that but these do come off on my nose it could be because I have my little thing so tight I don't freaking know but this is a fabulous drugstore tinted moisturizer not as heavy as a foundation it looks so beautiful on the skin I will link a video down below where you guys can check out me using this in action but it's really great I love it one of my favorite drugstore products speaking of drugstore products that I'm obsessed with this foundation has taken the cake baby it is so good so good this is a full coverage foundation for sure it is the covergirl outlast extreme wear three-in-one foundation i got this randomly at a ride aid today i am wearing the shade natural tan this is the only shade i'm wearing i'm not mixing right now i do have caramel beige if i am a little bit darker it's a 24 hour full coverage spf 18 this one by the way is spf 19. this is definitely a full coverage product glass packaging it's a primer concealer and foundation in one for a naturally flawless finish 24 hour wear sweat proof humidity proof covers imperfections evens out skin tone feels comfortable lightweight and breathable on skin I 100% agree with every single claim the 24 hour I don't know but every time I wear this and I wear it all day long it looks flawless no touch-ups it's so beautiful so if you have not tried this out go get it if you have texture and pores and you want something that is going to be full coverage a gorgeous going out date night dinner whatever this is the one and then the last thing I want to mention to you guys is this skin tint that I have tried for recently and it is really good it is a little bit more different than the l'oreal paradise i would say it's not as moisturizing as l'oreal paradise but this is not like super moisture you're gonna get oily really fast it's not like that but it is a little bit more moisturizing than this skin tint this is more of an expensive skin tint this is from sugar rush which is a tart sister brand i believe but it's poreless tinted moisturizer spf 20 again another great cool beach day option i did get this sample size they only had a few colors in the sample size but i really did like this i mentioned on my 
Instagram. If you have dry skin, just kind of be weary of it because it isn't moisturizing really at all. It's a very thin consistency. If I have dry patches on my skin, I do notice that it clings to them. So just make sure you moisturize really well, exfoliate, and hopefully it'll work for you. It's always hard to like recommend so many high-end products when you find really good drugstore products, but if I love both, I'm gonna mention both and you can decide, you know, which one you wanna buy. All right, moving on to cream contour. I just have one brand of cream contour I've been in love with. It is the Physician's Formula Organic Wear Sculpting Bronzer. I am using Toffee. I used it all over my face today. I didn't use a powder bronzer today. I only used these. So I have Mocha as well. Mocha is definitely deeper and more ashy. If you're deeper than me, then just go with Mocha. But Toffee is a great one for me. It's warm. It's that perfect color. It's not too much. And they're very creamy, easy to blend. They're not greasy on my skin, which is a common problem that I have when it comes to cream products. And it just looks flawless and they're affordable. So I love these little guys and I do like the packaging. It's just compact. It's plastic, but it's compact to the point. You know what I mean? Nothing extravagant. Blushes. We've got all affordable blushes today, which I love. We have three cream blushes, one blush palette. Two of the cream blushes are the same brand. You guys are probably going to know what I'm going to say, but the e.l.f. cream blushes are where it's at. The putty blush from e.l.f. is so good. If you have oily skin and you've been wanting to dive into cream products, but it's just hard to find a blush specifically that works for you, that's not going to get wet right in here from all the oil just like gathering and looking crazy. This is the way to go. So I have Bora Bora. I also have Turks and Caicos, which is definitely more of a coral. So Bora Bora is more of a hot pink, but it is so beautiful on the skin, you guys. So try it out if you have not. Um, don't be too scared by the colors because it's gorgeous. Turks is great. Absolutely love it. Speaking of cream blush, I do want to shout out this Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 Air. This is my favorite cream blush brush. So I just literally stamp it on and I just kind of rotate on my cheeks. Again, I do have on a cream blush today. It's actually this one. And then I topped it with a powder. This and the highlight and my face powder are the only powders that I have actually on my face. Great brush. Highly recommend this for your liquid blushes. There is another one that is really good, which is this one from It Cosmetics. Highlight and blending. It doesn't really matter what it says as long as you if you want to use it for whatever you use it but this one says it's kind of like that duo fiber feel as well it's great but the Sigma one it's a little bit more densely packed you have more control so go with Sigma over this one love this brush this is the one that I'm wearing today this is the Milani coral crush cheek Kiss Cream Blush. Absolutely love this one. I love this color as well. It is what I'm wearing today, and then I'll show you the colors that I topped over it. This one's definitely more creamy than the e.l.f. one, but it doesn't make you greasy at all. I love this Coral Crush color. It is really beautiful. It can be a little overpowering if you apply a lot of it. Just dab it out with a sponge. You know, if you put it on with the brush and you're like, hold up, take your sponge where you applied or your foundation brush where you applied foundation and tap over it, and that will help really blend it out and diffuse it, make it look good. Okay, so for for the blush palette is the BH Cosmetics Vanilla Peach Truffle four color blush palette. I love this little thing. All of these colors are like my favorite and they really go along with all of the cream blushes that I bought. Seriously, like if I go in with Bora Bora, the pinks, I will go with the pink. If I go in with Turks and Caicos, I'll go in with the corals. I really love this palette. It is very pigmented, so just keep that in mind. They're really easy to mix and match. They have good pigment and they're really soft and smooth on the skin. I love this little palette. I've gone to it so much this month and I do love that it has a mirror. That is super important to me. Powder, very quickly, I will try to link this below for you guys if I can find it. Kind of hard to find online because I don't think they're like just readily available like for sale. The Revlon Photo Ready Candid Anti-Pollution Setting Powder is a great alternative to the Too Faced Peach Perfect. It is smooth. It is so beautiful. I absolutely love it. Great powder if you have texture and you really just want to make sure everything looks smooth. I really rely on a good powder because if I go with a foundation and I'm starting to look a little bit more textured than I like, but I ain't got time to take it off, I need a powder that's going to smooth me out that I know I can rely on and that is it. The Too Faced Peach Perfect is as well. So if you can't get the Too Faced or you don't want to spend the money, get the Revlon Concealer. So I did discover this concealer this month uh, or last month. It is the Wet n Wild Incognito All Day Full Coverage Concealer. I love this. Does not crease under my under eyes and I don't feel like it accentuates the lines I have under there as well. I will say I don't have like super super dark circles but I do have like a lot of darkness here in the inner corner and I just find that it really brightens me up, gives me the coverage that I want and it's not cakey or anything like that. This is a great drugstore product. I want to 
shout out a couple different brushes. So this one is the Morphe M164. Love this for nose contour. You just literally take it down with your contour and blend it out. It's just a nice kind of thinner brush, but it has quite a bit of bristles. So it's easy to blend out, but also be precise as well. And then this little Real Techniques brush, another like random purchase, but I was like, ooh, that's kind of cool. I, I want to try that. I think it's mainly for contour. So you can just adjust how dense you want your brush to be and how big you want it to be. So obviously that's the biggest you can slide it down I've actually been putting it to like right here and applying my highlight with it to the tops of my cheekbones and it's been working out well so I haven't used it for contour yet but I have been using it for highlight and I really like it but I do think this would be a nice contour brush it's really soft and I just like that it comes like this it's cool I tried out this eyeshadow palette and I have been really enjoying it it is the ColourPop whatever palette I do really like this one these are my kind of colors I did a really pretty look if I do say so myself in one of my previous videos that I was in love with so if you want to check out that more dramatic look I'll link it down below I did use these shadows today I just did like a really simple like liner with shadow it's a great everyday palette but also take it in tonight with the deeper colors and the shimmers of course their warm tones my favorite so love those so I tried out this Lily Lashes power liner this is basically an adhesive eyeliner so you put it on and then you you don't let it sit long like maybe a second or two by the time you get your lash and start applying it you're pretty much good to go but this is a great alternative to lash glue I've been using this over lash glue it's been great it doesn't irritate my eyes at all it acts as a liner but it is a glue it is a felt tip liner as well it is a shiny liner so what I recommend doing is if you like more of a matte liner if you want something that's just more smooth and pretty go ahead do this apply your lash and then take your favorite liner and go over top to really clean it up make it matte what you want to do this is awesome I tried out the Maybelline tattoo studio brow product this is the brow pomade and this is really really good this just looks so nice it looks like your brows this is really great a good affordable option and the brush that comes with it is really nice as well a few more things and then I'll let you go so the Maybelline lash sensational sky high mascara I have been wearing this constantly you guys I'm wearing it now it is one of my favorite mascaras. It feels like a waterproof mascara when you're trying to take it off, but I get over it because I'm like, I really, really like it. I like the volume. I like the curl. I like the way my lashes look. So I've been enjoying it. Last few things are lip products. So this Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Liner in the shade pink sand is one of my favorites like a go-to so pretty that's the color right there it's just like a nice neutral to really wear with any kind of lip product and then this nars power matte lip pigment is really beautiful it is a matte color gosh that is just my kind of color i love these like pinky nudes and this is really nice it's very comfortable on the lips it's a thinner consistency so it's not going to feel heavy at all i've also been using dying beauty i don't have the colors that i use up here i have not been using this color but i will leave down below which colors i like a lot because i have been using them constantly they're just in my bag and I don't have them readily available. If you're wondering what I'm wearing now, it is the Milk Cosmetics Ladylike. A little bit lighter, but with my darker lip liner, it just like looks really great. I have a regular lipstick in the mix. I love this color and I mentioned on my stories, I was like, Natasha, I need this in like a liquid lip or something because this is my perfect color. So this is the I Need a Nude collection for her lipsticks and it's in 15 NB Claudia. Normally I don't like lipsticks like this only because it gets all in your mask. You know, if you go to Kiss Mason, it gets all over his face, but I just love this color. It is perfect. So I do wear it quite a bit, especially if I'm at home and I just want to do my makeup or something or if we're going to be outside. I love it it is so pretty it is more on the price side but it is beautiful and then i tried out this gloss color i love this formula this cream formula it's just like a really pigmented lip gloss this is so pretty to me so you could just throw on a lip liner if you wanted to and then put this on top and it's gonna look gorgeous again it's a gloss kind of a hassle when you're wearing a mask and stuff but whew, if you need a good gloss these are super hydrating they're like make your lips look so plump and juicy because they are just freaking shiny and phenomenal last thing I know I mentioned there's like one thing that's not a makeup product and I almost forgot it this is a gimme beauty shower cap I love this love this I saw someone mention a few months ago had to have it so it has like this um, silicone strip right here so it doesn't slide on your forehead I have a big forehead so we have a lot of non slippage area that it could hang out on and then it has like the elastic in the back but this is so good because our shower downstairs it has a lot of pressure which woohoo love that but <laughs> when it's like hitting your skin it like splashes 
pushes up into your hair, into the roots, like at the nape of your neck, and then your hair's wet, and then you're just like, oh, I don't want to dry it, so you let it air dry, and then it just looks a disaster. This is the way to go. I've been using this every day since I got it because I feel like it helps me not have to wash my hair sooner. Like, you know when your roots get a little wet? It's just not the same. When you're trying to go a long time, without washing your hair. You don't want your hair to get wet when you're in the shower, you know what I mean? Anywho, this has been great. I highly recommend it. Uh, it stays on my head and it's just been phenomenal and a must have. I hope you guys enjoyed all of my favorites for this month. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys have been loving as well. And yeah, let me know too. I, I was thinking of doing a Sephora VIB or whatever they're gonna call it sale recommendations video so let me know if you guys would like to see that and yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye